Hello artists, we're back and we're ready to work on another page of our book. Last time we learned about our primary colors and hopefully you remember what they are. They are red, yellow, and blue. So we're going to use paint today and we're going to start mixing our primary colors to make what we call our secondary colors. So our secondary colors are green, orange, and purple, or we call it violet. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take out your page that has the picture of the mice. This page is based off of the book, one of my favorites called Mouse Paint. Um, and you're gonna get your paper out with the mice and you're going to go in your art kit and you're gonna take out your paint. I actually wish we had the watercolors, which I ordered for everybody, to use but they haven't arrived yet so we're going to use something else I came up with. So I made these paint strips using the primary colors and they're reusable so as long as you take good care of them and let them dry when you're done we can reuse them for another time. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to also get a bowl or a cup of water. I never fill my water very high. I always fill it halfway or less just so I make sure I don't have a spill. And then you're going to want to take a paper towel to have ready and you're going to want to have your paintbrush. So um, let's get ready. So we're going to paint the first mouse. It is one of our primary colors. If you remember how to spell our color words, Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my brush, I'm going to dip it in the water, and I'm going to get some water on the yellow paint. I'm going to load a lot of paint on my brush. Okay, you can see. Now I'm going to paint. I'm going to hold my brush. I'm going to pinch it, um, hold it like a pencil, and try the best that you can to stay inside the space. Now, this is just like watercolor. You need a lot of water for it to work. So I'm going to dip in the water, and I'm just going to keep spreading. I didn't even dip in more yellow because there's still yellow on my brush. And then I'm going to carefully try and paint the tail yellow. Okay, so now I'm going to clean my brush because the next color is not yellow. It's B-L-U-E. If you remember what that spells, that's blue. So I have to clean my brush. So I'm going to dip my brush in the water and I'm going to make little X's at the bottom of my cup. See all that yellow going in the water and my brush is getting clean. And I'm going to check it on the paper towel. I see no yellow left, so it's clean. All right, so now I'm going to take my brush and get some water on it. And now I'm going to go to my blue paint. Okay, I loaded some blue paint on my brush, holding my brush like a pencil. Okay, and if I need a little more water on my brush, I'm just going to wet my brush a little more and spread some blue. You don't really need too much paint. Okay, so now for this mouse, you're going to actually mix yellow and blue together to make your color, your secondary color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it right in these little empty spaces. So I'm gonna take some of that blue. You don't need a lot of blue because blue is very dark. And I don't wanna stick my blue brush in the yellow because then it's gonna get dirty. So I'm gonna do X's at the bottom, clean it, check it on the paper towel, it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna take some yellow, get a good amount of yellow on my brush. And let's mix it. What do we got? Ah, we've got do you see that color? It's our secondary color. It is green. So I'm gonna take some green. So when I mix yellow and blue together, it makes green. Oops, I went out of the line of that, sorry. And I'm gonna put a little more water on my brush, spread that green around. Okay. And if you wanna know how to spell green, above it is the word green, G-R-E-E-N. So I'm actually going to put a little green in front of that color word of green. Okay, so I mixed two primary colors, my yellow and my blue, and I have green. Next, I'm going to move on. All right, so I'm cleaning that brush, getting ready for my next color word, my primary color of R-E-D. Remember what that spells? Yep, red. All right, so I'm going to clean my brush, check it on the paper towel, and get some red loaded on my brush. Okay, 
So I'm going to paint this one red. Okay. Load a little more water on my brush. Now I'm going to clean my brush. My water's getting a little dirty. That's okay. Check the paper towel and it says Y-E-L-L-O-W. That's yellow again. So I'm going to load some yellow on my brush. Okay. And I have to mix this time red plus yellow. So I'm going to do it right here in the space between the red and yellow. So I'm going to take some yellow. It's still on my brush. I'm going to clean my brush because I don't want to stick the dirty yellow brush in the red paint. Check my brush. Oh, still a little yellow in there. I'm going to clean it better. Okay. I don't need as much red because yellow is very light. So if I mix the yellow and red, can you see what it's making? Secondary color of orange. Great. So now I'm going to paint this mouse my secondary color of a little more water on my brush orange. May need a little more paint. And then if you'd like, get the tail painted. I'm going to go to my orange color word, O-R-A-N-G-E. I'm going to paint that little dot orange. All right, we've got two secondary colors done. We've got green done and orange done. All right, we're going to go to the final one. So we need the primary color again. This time we're going to be using B-L-U-E, which is blue. All right, so I'm going to load up my brush, some blue. All right. A little more water. You notice I'm, I use water more than paint because it spreads smoother. All right. Now I'm going to clean my brush. Next color is primary color, R-E-D, spells red. Check my brush. I'm cleaning it, remember, every time because you don't want to dirty your colors. All right. And I'm going to be mixing this time blue plus red. So I'm going to go down here and put some of that red because it's still on my brush. Clean my brush really well. My daughter water is getting very dirty because I've been cleaning my brush well. I've been using a lot of paint. Okay, so I'm going to mix a little blue in there and see what happens. Can you see the secondary color? It is purple, or we call it violet. So that's our third secondary color. A little more water on my brush. And I'm going to paint my purple color word. Violet, V-I-O-L-E-T, or purple, P-U-R-P-L-E. And then I'm going to let my paper, once it's done, dry in a special spot. Leave it flat in a space that no one will bother it. And I also have to remember to clean up my mess. So my bowl I would bring to the sink, rinse it out. I would let my paint strip dry somewhere and stick it back in my art kit when it's done. If I made a mess on the table, I'd wipe up my area and throw out the paper towel. So this ends our secondary color lesson. Have a great time, artists.